morning butterflies Kelly here with my metamorphosis and as you can see behind me um, there's still some major construction going on I'm hoping that this video is not going to be obnoxious with the hammering in the background they are really getting this place up fast um, what we've heard uh, those of us who live in the apartments where we're at um, is that it's going to be um, a small apartment complex for 55 and older so we'll see if that's the case um, I may have to have some music in the background once I actually upload this because they are hammering like crazy so I'm um, doing a car haul today as you can see um, I'm just sipping on some coffee this morning so grab a drink of your choice, grab a snack, sit back and relax, and let's enjoy this car Dollar Tree haul. Dollar Tree car haul together. <laughs> Okay guys, so I am excited to show you these. Um, I have a bunch of black ones that I got from the Dollar Tree a while ago, quite a while ago. I absolutely love it when I find these. These are the uh, Sterilite, is that how you pronounce it? Sterilite stacking bins. Um, so I have black ones and I grabbed some white ones. I grabbed I believe I grabbed four all together. So excited to use those in my room. Um, I really love black accents, but I recently, um, if you guys remember way back with my, I'm gonna scoot back a little bit here. I always do that. <laughs> Take a ride with me. Um, if you remember me hauling my comforter um, for my, bed um, it has like a white background I just recently ordered a dresser and it's coming today yay and it's white so I just thought I would do some some white accents in my room um, I still I'm gonna have some black in there as well I love the contrast contrast of black and white but yeah I would normally pick black that's kind of where my eye goes to but I'm gonna lighten up my room a little bit so I grabbed one of these. Um, these are the large plastic bunnies. I grabbed one in pink. Um, they just remind me of Peeps. <laughs> and um, so you just, it comes like this. And let me show you. I'm sure you guys have seen lots of people hauling these. But I'll just show you how how they go together. I'm just gonna use this as decor. Of course, these would be super cute if you have younger ones, younger kiddos, um, to, you know, put things in, um, you know, like a little basket or a large egg. So you just snap them together. And again, my eye usually goes to purple stuff. Purple's my favorite color. I love teal too, uh, but I love pink. Recently, um, I have definitely been, my eye has been going to pink items. So, um, all right, let's get this bad boy snapped into place. There we go. Whoops, one more. Look at how stinking cute these guys are and how huge they are. Um, so I just thought of something, you know, those little cottontails that they have, um, the large puffy bunny tails, um, that they have in the Easter section at the DT right now. I'm actually going to get one of those and I, I am going to glue one on here. I'll show you that when it's done. I think that would be so absolutely cute. So yeah, that's going to be for decor. And like so many of my YouTube sisters have been saying, um, sorry guys, give me one second here. There we go. So, um, you know, I cannot believe that Easter is 
um, so soon and I've got to get to decorating because um, I don't want to miss another holiday without decorating. Can't believe Easter's coming up on the 4th. We are going to be visiting, let's see, we'll be picking up Trace from school Friday at about 1230. Friday, April 2nd, and then we'll be heading out to my mom's over on the west side of the state. I live in Washington State, if you don't know. And she's going to be needing our help because she's trying to sell her house in May. Um, you know, the place where I grew up and um, our family has been in or was in. She's been in for 40 years or so. So, yeah. Um, so, we're going to go over there, spend... Um, celebrate Sutton's birthday over there and um, the big 18 I can't believe it and um, and celebrate Easter over there and then my oldest son Austin and my daughter-in-law Michaela are over there as well so alrighty let me just get these out of the way here and I've shared with you guys that you know yes I get my kids Easter baskets <clears throat> even my oldest ones that are adults um, and now that we'll be going over to the west side of the state I just thought I've got to get a couple Easter baskets together for um, Austin and Michaela since you know normally I wouldn't send an Easter basket to them but since we're gonna be in the area I'm gonna have to do that for them as well and um, of course Kyler my 23 year old he is in Hawaii um, in school right now um, so um, and I just want to tell you guys, so he's, I've mentioned this to you before, he's in something called YWAM. It is a um, half school, Christian school, half outreach program. And so they're there for three months um, in school and then they are doing outreach while they're there and then they go on a mission trip. So um, he is going to be going to Ecuador and he is super excited about that. So, um, so yeah, they, um, are leaving here in just a few weeks. And so, um, I'll keep you updated with that. So I don't get typical baskets, you know, uh, traditional baskets for my, my boys at this age, but, um, I'll get them buckets or bins. So I just got these just cause they were nice and, you know, white and Eastery, you know, light colors, um, these are the little compartment bins. And I just thought I would use these as their Easter baskets. Um, and then they can use this for whatever they would like um, in their room afterwards. So I got two of those, one for Trace and one for Sutton. And if you guys remember, I hauled... So right now, and I'll put some Easter baskets together um, on here for you guys um, for my kids so you can see what I've put in there but um, I've done mainly candy right now and gum um, but I did get Sutton some um, air fresheners for his car and I was like okay what can I pick up for Trace at the DT so he's my mask boy he loves masks and all that facial masks and so um, I did find one of the Sunday Rain So Clean body masks in charcoal. So I'm going to slip that in his little Easter basket. These are small. It's 50 milliliters or 1.69 fluid ounces. All right, guys. And I hauled one of these the other day so that we could try them. I think I hauled it, maybe I haven't yet, um, for a taste test, but I'm actually going to put two of these into, one each into my boys' baskets. Again, I'm gonna have to pick up stuff for Austin and Michaela too, but these are the Russell Stover Marshmallow and Caramels. So I've heard people rave about these and we'll see what the boys think about those. And I don't know if these are the things that I've seen people haul recently. I think they are. These are the Tootsie Roll eggs, individually wrapped Tootsie Roll eggs. And I'll just show you there. It's no peanut zone, which is great for those who have aller peanut allergies. 
So I got two of these, one for each of their baskets. Grab this for myself. I love it when I find these. I love coconut. I'm not a huge dark chocolate fan, but um, a lot of the times coconut candy is with dark chocolate. So these are so good, you guys. These are the coconut patties by Anastasia Taste of Paradise. They're bite size creamy coconut covered in a rich dark chocolate coating, chocolatey coating. So it says these are the actual size. And you get three ounces. I just picked those up for myself and grabbed some more things for um, Easter baskets. Um, grab the limited edition strawberry ice cream cone Hershey Kisses. So grab two of those, one for each of their baskets. And then the birthday cake Hershey Kisses. Grab two of those. I also grabbed two more, like one of each of these. Um, I don't see them in this bag. Um, so that the um, kids can do a taste test on those as well. I may be doing the taste test along with them this time. And then I thought these were so cool and they're in a resealable pouch. These are the Charms Blow Pop Minis and you get three ounces. So they're like the little blow pops without the sticks. Cute little Easter -y, uh, theme. So I grabbed a purple one for Trace and a blue one for Sutton. Hope everybody is doing great, staying safe, and I'm going to pause this video for one moment and reach in the back of my car where I've got like a whole Dollar Tree back there, <laughs> and I'll be right back. Okay, guys, so I this is a wish list item. I've been looking for any of these little LED unfinished wood lights, and I love pineapple stuff, and I found one in the pineapple, and um. I'm not sure if I'm gonna paint it or leave it or maybe just brush like a stain over it. Not really a stain, but my makeshift stain with just brown paint, which you can get from the Dollar Tree. So I got one of those. Um, I have seen people hauling these and these are so precious. So you get a two pack of the treat sacks Look at these little bunnies with these ears, you guys. Oh my gosh. So I did not get these to go um, in my kids' baskets. I got them so that I can do a little DIY with these. And so I will show you what I'm gonna be doing with those. Grab some Assured Maxi Pads. You get 16 in here. Sorry guys, the glare, there we go. You guys already know I'm addicted to these white Kit Kats. You get a five pack, grabbed one of those, put in our little candy dish. So here is the Russell, Russell Stover's Marshmallow and Caramel for our taste test. I grabbed a Coke that day and forgot about it, but I go back and forth between Coke and Diet Coke. Um, and it's amazing when I, when I do not drink sugar to pop, how the weight will drop off of me. So I'm really gonna try to stick to diet. Um, I know that has its own problems, you know, um, people there's, you know, a lot to be said about diet drinks, but, um, but yeah, I, I grew up drinking Diet Coke or Tab. Do you remember Tab? <laughs> That's what my mom used to drink. So I drank it growing up. So diet drinks don't taste weird to me, um, for the most part, but, um, I don't know. I, I don't know. Like sometimes I just want that extra sweet taste. So so that's why I'll drink a Coca-Cola regular one sometimes, but I'm really gonna try to stick to the diet. I was so happy to find this. This was a wish list item. This is by Craft. 
Oh, that, wow, this is a name brand. Plaid. This is by the Plaid Enterprises Company. Craftwise chalkboard paint, and you get two fluid ounces. Got some awesome makeup, you guys. Um, I've seen some more hard candy makeup than I've really ever seen at our Dollar Trees. So this is a hard candy, bold and gorgeous, blackest black, fat and fine felt tip eyeliner. And remember what I was saying, you guys, when you see these little, I did find this in the normal makeup section, but when you see these little plastic things, check your end caps because sometimes they're just hanging around, hanging around on the end caps. I also found this Hard Candy Soft Glide Longwear Eyeliner in Chrome. It's like this beautiful gold color. I'm going to take this out. The packaging is so pretty. Um, I'm not going to do a swatch of the black eyeliner, but I am going to do a swatch of this. Sometimes I forget to do swatches for you guys, and I know I like to see how things look. Look at how pretty this packaging is. So let's see. All right, I'm sorry. So that's what that looks like. I don't know if you can see that. My hands are so dry. So that's really, really pretty. All right. I also picked up this LA Colors Color Craze Nail Polish. By the way, these LA Colors Nail Polishes do have hardeners in it. It says it right on there if you guys haven't noticed that. This is in, it's called Goals. And it's this beautiful gold color. I really thought that was pretty. Okay, here's the other double bubble eggs, the little carton of gum eggs for one of my boys' baskets. You get four ounces in there. All right, again, this one ripped, but you know, another little, especially the Wet n Wild, they always have this um, little plastic, at least at my Dollar Tree's, um, little hanger on here. I found the Wet n Wild first, first gel lip liner. So it's the gel lip liner, and this one is in Gone Burgundy. Let's go ahead and and do a, a swatch of this as well. I thought that this would match a lot of my browns and reds, even, you know, mauve. Here, I'm gonna do it on the inside of my arm. Oh yeah, that's gorgeous. Whoops, I didn't do it on the right spot. Uh, can't twist my arm that far. So yeah, this is really, really pretty. really pretty all right horrible swatch sorry so I'm excited to use that I grabbed some bunny ears I've seen so many of my YouTube sisters wearing these already so I'll be wearing these soon for my Easter hauls I really thought this beautiful turquoise teal color was awesome. Little headband. All right, I'm going to show you one more thing and then I'm going to close out this haul. So I just want to say, um, I don't know how this is going to work on my hair. It's from the DT, but I was telling you guys yesterday that my, um, um, I'm noticing little grays and whites. Finally, I guess I should be grateful. I mean, I'm 47, so I think my, you know, just now noticing those is pretty, you know, I'm pretty grateful for that. But um, I've never, my hair's always been really light blonde. You can see it's starting to get really dark. 
blonde and um so for the first time I'm actually gonna be doing my hair blonde which normally I wouldn't have to do um, normally you know I would I'd like to go darker in fact this winter I've had a, um, a reddish one from the Dollar Tree forever on hand and I was gonna do that this winter but now that it's summer I'm just gonna save that for the next go around and then I'm gonna be doing this blonde it's called lightest blonde so like I said yesterday I will be uh, most likely doing that on video and um, you know I was telling you that my hair is getting you know look at this crazy mess my hair is getting thinner and thinner um, you know my hair is fine I have a lot of it but um, or I did, <laughs> but it's very fine. You know, the actual strands of my hair are fine, but like I used to have kind of more of a pronounced widow's peak, but my hair is just really thinning right here. And so I think I'm going to give myself some bangs as well. And, um, you know, I go back and forth between bangs and, um, you know, and all one length bangs anyway uh, I have a high forehead so I kind of go back and forth but anyway I hope you guys enjoyed this car haul I hope there wasn't horrible banging in the background um, if you guys have not subscribed please do so I would love to have you be a part of this YouTube family please hit that notification bell so that you can be notified every time I upload a video and if you would give this video a thumbs up if you liked its content, I would so appreciate it. And most importantly, please comment down below so that I can get to know you better. Um, I really do consider you my friends, my family. So stay safe, stay blessed. I love each and every one of you and have a great day.